Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Last time we talked about Iron Man's boots and shins, and today we're going to work our way up to Iron Man's thighs. But just before that, I wanted to remind you about my Patreon campaign. Have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots. You can get some exclusive rewards, including all my 3D models for free, which I normally charge a small amount of money for to help fund the projects, and also access to an exclusive live broadcast with me. So check out the link and help me achieve my goals. So let's have a look at one of these thighs. We actually worked on these in around late 2012, early 2013, I think. So um, these, these are fiberglass, but I already put quite a lot of mounting in. Um, and what we, what we can actually do is remove this piece, which is held on with magnetic plugs and sockets that I made, which is originally how the whole suit was going to be held together. Look back through my channel for the videos on that. That locks into um, the corresponding sockets there. And once you've removed that, these pieces actually slide off. So uh, to reveal the brace for the leg, there's a strap. Originally, these were going to be held up to a waist belt from this area. And in fact, the back comes off there as well, if we're very careful. And basically, I used these blocks, which are from uh, self-assembly furniture and some wooden dowels. So this thing is quite hard to align. That plugs in there. Front goes on there. And then this piece goes in there. And that locks it in so these can't slide anymore, which holds it all together. So it was a fairly good idea. Um, what I'm actually going to do now is try and lose the shoulder straps. I'm not sure if that's going to work out um, as well as I'm intending. But as I mentioned with the boots last time, those are self-supporting, so you can wear the boots and the shins, and those hold themselves on. So um, there's some mixed opinions about whether you should actually have a hinge at the knee. Most people think you shouldn't, and you should have the thighs separate to give you more flexibility. Um, however, I'm actually going to put a hinge at the knee, which holds the shin onto the thigh, and hopefully these will hold themselves up. Um, if they don't work as well as I'm expecting, then I will be putting a strap on but it's gonna be basically a bungee that helps support it so it's flexible and just gives it that bit of extra support. But we'll see how that goes. So the first step is to fix the, uh, the frame there into the back of the thigh so it's always permanently fixed in and then it's only the front that can be removed to get them on and off. Then we need to sort out some sort of hinge, probably with a bearing, but we'll see how that goes to go either side um, and then some extensions down to the shin. So I 3D printed these pieces of plastic, which are uh, basically round things with a tab on, as you can see, and there's a recessed piece there that um, takes a bearing. So these are similar to skateboard wheel bearings, which have got a series of ball bearings you can't see actually behind that middle section, um, and the outside turns freely, the inside stays stationary. So those fit in there extremely tightly. You have to hammer them in. These are printed um, in solid ABS plastic, so they're fairly tough. And those then fit into the leg each side. So from the outside, it'll look like this. Um, and then I can put a cap on here. So there'll be a bolt through here. The head of the bolt should ride in that recess. Um, and I can stick a cap on the outside to cover it. And then the stick piece will hinge on the inside down to the lower leg, um, which will be detachable at some point so that the upper and lower leg can detach from each other. So let's get these glued in and let's get on with making the next pieces. So it's actually several days later now and I've been trying to build um, this sort of hinge for the knee. Um, actually looking at these I found though in fact on both of them one side is higher than the other. Um, for some reason, which has caused some issues. So, in fact, in the original Pepikira templates, the hinges are not at the same level on each side, um, which causes an issue because it means that they don't pivot around the same point. So, I've spent quite some time trying to prototype up a solution for this, um, you know, using a, a sort of a, a hub in a, a thing that can slide so they can move up and down at different rates, or perhaps this way at different rates, and having um, another piece attached to that that's then sort of double hinged to hinge up to the, the main hinge and that piece being attached to the shin. 
Um, there's quite a range of, mo of movement in the legs, which I'll show you in a moment, <coughs> which basically means these things all slip around and um, don't stay upright. So let me just put the legs on and I'll show you what I mean. So here's one leg. Um, if you watch where the black hinge is, then obviously as I bend my leg there, um, it actually travels quite a large distance. Um, you can see that particularly badly on the inside. So um, the other thing is, as you turn your leg to turn and do natural things, obviously there's quite a lot of swivel. Um, I guess you could get away with turning your leg in one go, but it's going to be extremely hard to move around um, or walk in a circle. So I think actually the best thing to do is actually just support this thigh separately with a shoulder strap. And then I'll go on to use these hinges to hold a covering piece, so you can't see my blue jeans, um, on the inside, which will be multiple sections, a bit like medieval knee armour, if you have a Google on Google Images, um, which is lots of articulated strips that go all the way down and protect your leg. So that's similar to what Iron Man has in his knee armour. So let's have a look at um, another bit of a strapping system for the thighs. Okay, so as you can see, I have the thighs suspended just there. Let's uh, zoom in. You can probably just about see some straps at the side here with webbing belts and buckles on. If we just take off the chest plate. What I've actually done is run a strap, you can just see there on either side, um, which runs all the way down behind here. Crosses over the chest and that goes down each side and the reason I've done it that way is so that it doesn't get pulled tight um, here and obviously at the back when you take steps and try and step over things so it's very important that the strap comes down to the side because um, that's basically the hinge point of your leg and that's strapped on to each thigh just into the metal framework which is already inside which I um, showed you earlier Similarly, I've strapped that onto the metal framework at the top. It's just hooked around the posts which um, mount the armour on. So that hopefully the load, um, there's load bearing across the shoulder plates which have big slabs of foam underneath instead of just these straps being over the shoulders. So I was going to do a suit up video wearing all of the pieces of the completed suit. The main issue is that uh, normal clothes don't really fit underneath so I need to wear a skin tight suit like the mannequin hat on. This is the remaining piece which I haven't finished yet um, out of most of the major pieces which of course goes on here. So um, I'm not going to put this suit on with a skin tight suit underneath it until I finish this piece at least and obviously there are several other fill in sections I need to do next time which will be the subject of the next video. So don't forget to subscribe, check out my Facebook page for sneak peeks and updates, and also have a look at the Patreon link that I mentioned at the beginning.